Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. Today I have a quick video looking at how you can use Avada Forms for registration and login. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. While we have the user login, user registration and user lost password elements, and these are super convenient elements that you can use out of the box, if you want a more custom design you might want to use Avada Forms instead, as this gives you the full flexibility of the Avada Builder. Ok, to start we need an Avada Form. I have made a new one here called Registration, and we can see there are only a few form elements that have been added. There's a text field element for the username, and an email field element for the email address. There's a text block element for a notice, and there is a submit button element. So let's look at what's important to make this work. For a start, the field names are very important. For the username, we need the field name of user underscore login, as you can see here. And for the email field element, we need a field name of user underscore email. You can add whatever you want in the field labels, but you must use these field names for it to work. The submit button is just a standard submit button element. The other important area for this to work is the form options. On the submission tab you need to set the submission type to post, and the submission method to post. And then we need a submission URL. This should be your domain name with the addition of forward slash wp-login.php question mark action equals register. One last thing, there's also an option in the WordPress general settings that needs to be enabled. The membership option here needs to be enabled so users can register. Ok, that's it. That's an easy way to use Avada Forms for your user registration. Now what if you wanted to use a similar approach for user login? It's also possible with Avada Forms. Again, you'd simply make a login form like this one here, and as you can see, it just has a username field, a password field, and a submit button. Again, it's important to have the right field names to match WordPress's own. So here the field name for the username should be log, and the field name for the password should be pwd. The submission is set up the same as the registration one, with one main difference. For the form submission URL, you can see the action now is login instead of register, and I have also added a redirection at the end of the URL, and in that way you could redirect the user to whatever page you like. Once you have your forms set up, you could add them wherever you like, on a page, in an account link on the menu, or even in a mega menu or sliding bar. The flexibility here is as big as your imagination. So here on the home page of the painter and decorator site I recently built, I have added a masterclass link in the header. This is a mega menu with the two links, which open in an off canvas pop up. I'll just log out as a user would be. And now let's test them. I'll click the register link, and our form opens in a pop up. I'll just register with a username, an email address, and click register. And this redirects us to the admin page, and we can see a message that registration was successful. I'll just go and check my email and set a password. Ok, now I've done that, let's log in. I'm on the front end again, and this time I'll click the login link. Our login form is again displayed in a pop up, and I can just enter my details and log in. This redirects us to the masterclass welcome page I set in the URL field. Cool, time to get handy. There are many ways you can use Avada Forms, and as you can see, registration and login is also on that list. Ok, this concludes our video on using Avada Forms for registration and login. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.